Hi, Adam Bazalgette back here in beautiful Naples, Florida. I'm two-time PGA Teacher of the Year Award winner, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Great subject today, how to start the downswing correctly. So how to start the downswing correctly, boy, that's an important subject. It affects your consistency, how solidly you can hit the ball. We'll flesh that out, show you a couple of things for solid contact and a couple of things, or one thing specifically, that'll help you with direction, I hope. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of free content, hopefully more coming your way. And of course, scratchgolfacademy.com is my home website. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so as we get started, maybe it's a good idea to look at what we're trying to accomplish with the start of the downswing. We're gonna look at two aspects from here and then one from there. And let's start with these two. Now this is something, listen to this, 100% of all great players do, 100%. Now they may do it to slightly differing degrees, but these are those two things. In every case, as great golfers start the downswing, the swing narrows, the club gets closer to the body, the wrist angle increases. Not just a matter of holding wrist cock. So we're gonna look at that, and that leads directly to number two, and we're looking at a fairway shot when we say this, the club shaft not only gets closer to the body, but the club shaft passes the ball and leans this way as it hits the golf ball. Now, these are basically true of woods as well, but we're just more behind the ball. So let's have a quick look at a couple of players doing that, give you a clear picture, then we'll get back out. So Olivia Co on the left, Brand Snedeker on the right. She's right through that white sign there on the way back. As she moves, the club gets closer to her on the way down. And you'll notice she's on a par three too, so the ball's on a very low tee, but still she's gonna drive that club shaft past the ball and the shaft will be leaning when she hits the golf ball. Let's have a look at Brent. So he's on the other side of that palm tree going back and on the near side of it coming down. Look at the difference in wrist angle there. And two, he too, I should say like Lydia, drives the shaft past the golf ball and leans it at impact. Now one other little thing that you'll want to know, if you really want to get the most out of this, you want to be dynamic and hit the ball a long way, who doesn't? You have got to use the ground a little bit. We're going to get into the sequence of motion here momentarily. It starts with the core, and if you don't use the ground and squeeze down a little bit, you're just not going to hit the ball that far. Let's look at one of the best ball strikers briefly, and we're going to get out and really get into this whole sequence here. So one of the best of the best, Dustin Johnson, watch his head relative to the lake there and watch how it lowers, watch how he's moving down towards the ground. Now what's happening, he's not squatting his knees way down or dipping his head at the ball, he is increasing that angle and providing downward pressure into the ground and as he pushes down and squeezes down with his body, he can really start to explode out of there and make a dynamic move. All right, so let's flesh it out a little bit. What are we trying to do as we start the downswing? How are we going to accomplish those things and do it with power and consistency? These days in the golf industry, almost anything is measurable. They know what the ball does with the club, with launch monitors. They can measure with force plates and three-dimensional or 3D motion sensors like K-Vest, what the body's doing. So you may find an elite player say something, that's what they feel. But the reality is this is the sequence of great golfers. Now, the first thing is the core. That would be your glutes, your abs, everything around your hips here. That's the first segment to move. Second segment would be your thoracic spine. That's the top of your body up here. Lower body's a little more stable. That's more of a stabilizing component. And sections three and four are arms, then clubs. So that's the acceleration pattern we've got to have. And the great players do this really well. Now, one little thing before we talk about a drill for that, if you're really going to get power, we've talked about using the ground, but if you're going to get power, the faster you move those segments in order, and then the quicker you decelerate them, the more rapid the movement is, the more power you'll create. So if you've watched some of my videos before, you've seen me use this towel. Again, that's a nice sequence. That's core leading, club head coming last, but there's not a lot of energy. So I've got to move this end quickly and decelerate it quickly. That's what gives it power. So I would suggest you make some little practice swings without the club initially, if you're at home there. Give that core literally like a little shiver and just feel that work up the system and let your arms just relax and respond to that. And when you get out to the range, I've got like an eight iron here. Hit some little shots. And again, you're trying to create energy in a small amount of space and start to feel that movement, but get extra soft with your arms and club. Let them kind of shiver and load like the towel does. So here's a little swing. 
So I really created some energy there. I felt my arms respond to that. That ball for me went a pretty long way for a little mini swing. And just camp out with that a little bit. And I'm gonna get back, I'm gonna shiver this and let the arms just totally respond and let the energy go up the segments. Like so. And as you get a little bit more confident, just start doing it on a slightly bigger scale. It's a pretty solid shot for a medium-sized shot. And again, as I do that, and you can practice this, I feel that sense of squeezing the ground because it really helps me accelerate in the proper sequence. That's the kind of feel, and I'll start it with some big shots. This is fun. You'll be amazed how far you can hit the ball if you do these things. Let's have a look from this angle. Okay, so those first two things de deal primarily with solid contact and speed. How can you hit the ball harder and how can you hit it dynamically? Let's look a little bit at direction. Obviously, that's critical in golf. And again, we'll assume solid contact and we'll assume some club face control. Your swing plane is hugely determinative of how good a directional control you are. So the way you change direction has to influence you out there towards the target. I've put two little white sticks up there as we go over this set of bunkers, kind of give you a sense of it a little bit. And listen, we've got this all fleshed out at Scratch Golf Academy, a full course on building blocks and whatnot, but I want to give you something at least to touch on here. And that is to say, just let your instincts show up a little bit here. And I love the club toss. You may have seen this if you watched a few of my videos. If you had to take a golf position and just toss a club, most likely in one or two tries, you would begin to toss it relatively well at the target. And I promise you, this is something I learned from Fred Shoemaker out in California, one of my mentors. If you can get a feel for that, that's about how you want to swing the golf club. Now, what's the real problem? And again, this goes back to some stuff Fred showed me. Most people deep down are aiming at the golf ball too much, so invariably they're going to come down too directly at the ball too steeply. This golf club is going to put pressure on the ball and drive it somewhere. You want to put pressure on the back of the ball to send it towards the target. I mean, that's obvious, right? So if you want to practice that, take a golf club, look out there if you like, and you'll find your toss will come from the side of your body, underneath your body and out to the target. No thinking. There we go, right in there. Actually knock the stumps a little bit there and just work off that feel. I've got an eight iron here. Get a couple of little short shots over the top of those, hopefully. And again, I'm starting to sense the direction of swing that's gonna drive that ball towards the target and I'm avoiding letting the golf ball be the target. That's not the emphasis point of my swing. So I hope that gives you some clear ideas as to how to start the downswing correctly, give you some power and some consistency. Again, scratchgolfacademy.com is my website. We've got a full course in the building blocks of the swing, full courses and everything. Hope you'll check that out. Please subscribe to the channel if you like the video. would love to get you more free content. There's already a lot at the site. Thanks very much.